Hi, and welcome to Bits of Blender. I'm here with my boy Richard. Hello. We're going to do a quick tip on ripping. So I'll pop open Blender, hit X to delete the default cube. I'll hit 7 on the number pad to look down. Then Shift A to add a plane. We're going to hit period or de the decimal point on the number pad. Then we zoom in to the selection. Tab into edit mode. And then let's do Control R to do a ring cut. And then left click and then hit enter. Control R, left click, enter. And I'm going to move this these aside. I'm going to hit A to select all. I'll have to deselect first, then select all. I have G to move this over. Hold the control key to snap to the grid. Then Shift D, hold the control key. And B to select all these guys. Shift D, control key. We got a nice grid of things here. I'm going to get rid of the widget too. Okay. I'll do select all. Now, when you when you want to rip a mesh, that's uh, taking the vertices and and separating it. And a handy technique is to know the direction that you're ripping. And it's based off the way your mouse is. So I'll right click on that vertice. I'll hit, and then I'll position my mouse above this vertice, like around the center line. And I'm going to make an upwards movement. So I'll type V to rip, and then I'm going to move the mouse up. But mouse position is important. And this one, I'm going to position it down here and do V, move it down. Here, V. That's how you can control your ripping. Cool. So now you can make a different number of vertices and different face stuff. So, so uh, I'll create a whole bunch. <laughs> and then uh, control R. I thought you used to be so technical. Oh, you wanted me to hit the number key, like I <laughs> normally do. <laughs> Let's scale that up. Yes, I'm guilty of that. I like doing that. Here, I'm just going to move the 3D cursor for a second. You can rip multiple vertices at once. So I'll go V, rip that open. And here I'm just going to close this off. Face, Control R, click. I'll do enter. There we go. Alt right click, face. We got a nice quad over there because it's four vertices, even though it looks like a triangle a little bit. That's right. It's actually a quad that's in a diamond shape. And you'll notice that we changed the edge flow. This is so if be I cool. do control R, <laughs> you can see. There's a little loop. There's a loop there. There's a loop there. This goes nice and straight across here. These are still going up, so I was able to change the edge flow, but that's another bit. Mm -hmm. We'll see you next time. Bye.